Please hit this subscribe. This problem appears at the 2015 chemistry questionnaire of the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government or max scholarships for undergraduate students. The answer key and original questions are linked in the description. Problem 7. Outlined here are synthetic processes of organic compounds. Select the structural formulas for the compounds A to J from 1 to 24. You may use the same number for an answer several times. For problems like this, it is important to have some foundational knowledge, some sort of basic understanding, and knowledge about some popular reactions. You cannot solve the problem from the given, and there's no standard way of solving it. It's just that you have to know the popular reactions beforehand and you have to know some rules so there will be problems here that that have rules that apply and so you can solve them but there are also problems here that you just have to know the popular reaction to be able to answer first let us look at the first two reactions for a and b what we have is an is an alcohol ethanol and we have sulfuric acid as the catalyst. So that is a clue because we have a strong acid that we have a clue that what we have is a dehydration of alcohol. And dehydration takes away the OH group. And now if you have a primary alcohol like this, so a primary alcohol is one where the OH group is attached to only one alkyl group. So Normally, that means it's at the end of the chain. The OH group is at the end of the chain. And if we have a primary alcohol, if you remove the OH and the temperature is around 170 to 180 degrees Celsius, you will be left by an, with an alkene. So an alkene is one with two, with two bonds, rather a double bond between two Cs. And that's why this is the answer. This is the, the same the same C's here, but we replace the OH with a double bond. However, if the temperature is low, around 130 degrees Celsius, we do not produce an alkene. We instead produce an ether. So an ether is one where there is an oxygen in the middle, and you have two alkyls attached to both ends, or to both sides of the oxygen. So here we have an ethyl, on the other side, we have an ethyl. So this is an ether. Let us now look at the reactions that involve the first product, ethene. So the initial reactant is, is an alkene, ethene. And for G, we have this, we have this catalyst. And this is a well-known reaction called Wacker oxidation. You have the O2 there. And the clue is actually this, this catalyst, and it is known that this reaction actually produces aldehyde. And there is no other way to, to learn this but to actually remember the Wacker oxidation. And aldehyde, so in the choices, the aldehyde is this. So this is ethanol. And the other one, you have phosphoric acid and water. So this is a clue that you, your alkene will be hydrated. So hydration of alkene would actually return it to the alcohol state. So you get the alcohol. So this is actually ethanol. This is your initial product here at the beginning. So the first step was dehydration. We removed the hydroxyl group. And when you add this phosphoric acid in water, you actually do hydration. And that means you will put back the hydroxyl group. So you return to the ethanol state. Now let's look at this chain that starts at C, then I, then J. Again, the initial reactant is the alcohol ethanol. And then we have here a chromate. And this is actually used to oxidize. And that means that what we have here is actually an oxidation of ethanol. So the only way you know that this is used to oxidize is to remember that. You have an acid and you have an oxidizing agent, then we have oxidation of ethanol. 
And when a primary alcohol like this one is oxidized, it has two steps. First, it becomes an aldehyde, then it becomes a carboxylic acid. So aldehyde in the choices would be number six, ethanol, and carboxylic acid in the choices would be the acetic acid, this bit. So again, if you have a primary alcohol, then you have an oxidizing agent and an acid. It will, and then it has two steps. Then that means the first will be aldehyde. The next will be carboxylic acid, which is COOH. This is a carboxylic acid and the aldehyde bit is the CHO. And now after this, so at I, we have the acetic acid. Now, if we add calcium hydroxide, so acetic acid is an acid, calcium hydroxide is a base. Therefore, we have a neutralization reaction. This will produce calcium acetate. And if you dry distill the calcium acetate, it will actually leave a ketone acetone. And this is acetone. So acetic acid actually becomes acetone. And again, this is just something that you just have to remember. There's no way of deriving this from, from the facts here. And then we look at the last three. Again, the initial reactant is the alcohol. Now, here we have a halogen and actually an acid in the form of HX, where X is a halogen. Iodine is a, is a halogen. And that is a clue that what we have is actually a substitution of the OH with a halogen. So when you see an acid like this, so it could be hydrobromic acid, hydrochloric acid, and in this case, hydroiodic acid, you substitute the OH with an I, and so we get 22. And for letter E, this is a well-known reaction. You have acidic acid and you have ethanol. So an alcohol and an acid, carboxylic acid, that will produce an ester. So an ester is one with a CO, the double bond here, and another O here, COOC. And here you have a functional group here. You have another, or rather you have an alkyl here. You have another alkyl here. So the COOC, so this is actually the, the main meat of the ester. And this is called the Fischer esterification. Again, the clue is that you have an alcohol and an, a carboxylic acid. And lastly, we have the NaOH and iodine. This is a famous reaction. It's called the iodoform reaction. And you just have to remember that the product of this is actually this bit here. And the only clue you have is the NaOH and the I2. So this is just something you have to remember. If you learned something new today, please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya!